Hi all, today I want to show you a really great site that I used uh, quite a bit with my kids and uh, today actually we're just using it in my grade 10 applied science class and my grade 12 chemistry class. Um, this is called Kahoot and uh, to go to it you just go to getkahoot.com and uh, from there you can create an account, it's pretty simple, uh, nothing to pay for, it's all free. I'm just going to sign in with my account. Uh, when you sign in it brings you to your dashboard and you have a stats on the side with questions, how many people played, how many players and it shows your recent statistics. Today we were just had a couple extra minutes so we tried the cartoon character pop culture and Disney princesses uh, with my class and uh, they actually really had a fun time with that right after our thermal chemistry review. Uh, in the dashboard you can uh, take a uh, start a quiz, a discussion, or a survey and at the top it shows a list of your quizzes, public ones that you can search so you don't actually have to make your own. Uh, so just to show you a few of the public ones I can click on public cahoots and you can type in the subject matter that you're looking for. So if I want to type in maybe chemistry, and it'll bring up a list of different things. So there's different uh, SAT chem review, chemistry. I can also type in the course code, which is really cool. So I can type in, say, SNC2P, and that will bring up my grade 10 applied. And there's the one that I made, and another teacher has made a, a quiz as well. So you can actually click it, and I can see if their questions are good, if I can show the answer, I can see which one's the right answer and how many seconds and things that it takes. So it's really great. Uh, but if I want to create my own quiz, I'm just going to click on quiz and I give it a name. So today I'm going to give it a frog dissection quiz. So I'm going to do a frog. And uh, from there what you can do, you can type in true or false questions, you can type in multiple choice and you put the question here at the top and all the answers go at the bottom where you can do up to four answers. So if I want to do a fa true false, I could remove answers and I can also add answers if I want something a little more substantial. Uh, for this one I can show actually I can add a picture so I can say which part of the frog is this and I can actually take a picture of a frog which I've saved on my desktop and I can drag that in. So for here I have a picture of the frog and I'm going to put that the arrows are pointing to and uh, I can add some different answers so in here I can say maybe heart, lungs, stomach and intestines and from there I want to choose the correct answer so in my picture you'll see in a second I'm going to choose that the heart is there you can duplicate questions you can add questions you can delete the questions so for now let's just say I just want one question I can see if it's points or no points as well as I can take time so I can make up to 30 seconds I can actually add a video if I want as well so there's a lot of stuff I can add so I'm going to go to save and continue uh, it asks before you finish the quiz, you select the language, you can make it public or private, so I'm just going to make this private, and who's your audience, so I'm going to say school. And I'm going to say this is a relatively easy test, so I'm going to rank down the difficulty and put description, frog dissection, and anything, hints, I can type in frog, and then comma, and then that adds it as a tag, and I'm going to go to save and continue. Um, so what happens, I can also make a quiz uh, an image for the quiz so I can take say another thing so here's a picture I just have a random thing for science I just throw that in there and uh, you can also put a YouTube video which is something new but we'll skip that step and I'm gonna hit done so now that I have the frog quiz I'm gonna click preview and this is what it actually looks like when the kids are gonna play so on the right hand side you see what a typical student screen would look like and reminding us here that when this is just actually for the demo um, so this is what the students would see and this is what you would see as the teacher so I can launch it with some different settings here I'm gonna click launch and what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna have a bunch I'm just gonna turn the sound down of starting a Kahoot it's gonna have the game pin and it's gonna tell students to go to get kahoot.it and the game pin 670788. So on the student's device, they're gonna to go to kahoot.it and they're gonna type in that game pin. So as they type it in, so if I was a student, I'd be typing that in on my own device, I hit enter, and I'm gonna put a nickname. So I'm just gonna put Brandon, and I'm gonna click join game. And as students join, they're gonna pop up on the bottom. If you have something that's inappropriate, you can click their name and you can get them out. So I'm gonna click start. And this is the little background that we picked there, just getting ready and it's gonna come up with the question. So which part of the frog is this? Arrows are pointing to. And it's gonna load up the question. So I'm looking and all the arrows I see are pointing to the heart. So on my display, which is on the right hand side, I'm gonna choose the octagon there, or sorry, hexagon, and that's going to be the correct answer. So as a student, I see that I've got a correct answer. As a teacher, I have all the class results and it will stop when the time runs out or everyone's entered. So I can hit next 
and it shows that the scoreboard is Brandon, I got that many points, and it's based on how fast you can answer, and I'm gonna hit end. So then it shows who the winner is, and the students have a chance actually to give feedback. So on the student side, I can say there's a five star, I liked it, uh, would I recommend it, sure, and how do I feel, I feel happy. And then you actually get those as the teacher on your screen. Uh, so it's pretty cool, that's kind of how it works. Um, you can see also the details, so here's a thermal chemistry one I made earlier, and I can see the questions that I've put in down here of how many seconds I've loaded in pictures. So for this one I have a endothermic or exothermic question, and it's a true or false type style where there's just two, so I have exothermic or endothermic, and there's different things you can do with those. You can preview it, you can play it, you can share this with other people. Uh, I made this today actually, and I've played it once with uh, the students. We had about 15 students playing today. Uh, what's really cool also you can have results so the different types of classes you can click download and what that does it opens up a excel sheet and from here i can see an overview of how many people got the right answers in green it shows the ones that are correct and it shows the ones that are wrong i can also click on a individual question so i can see here how long it took students to answer so the people really got it and the few at the end maybe have guessed and uh, they didn't get any points for that. But you can see now with this actually diagnostic information, which students are getting it and which aren't getting it. So I can talk to these students and just maybe review that section with them. So it's really cool uh, what you can do with it. Uh, as well, there's a couple other features. So you can go to the public cahoots like I was showing earlier. And under my name, I can go to my results and then this brings it to this screen. Uh, as well as you can do email preferences, you can change your profile, you can have my information that's in there and uh, you can upload a picture if you'd like. I haven't done that yet. So you're back at My Cahoots, and what you can do is you can look at all the different ones that you've created. You can search for different ones in Public Cahoots. You can try out to see if there's something that else you really like. You can change the privacy settings, and there's really great things you can do with this, and uh, students can also make their own quizzes as well. Uh, from what I've heard, the support is really great. The frequently asked questions have a lot of answers to how to do things. And uh, you can share things with different people. You can have tags and audiences and all sorts of things. So uh, overall, it's an amazing software. So thanks for listening today. And I uh, hope you give Kahoot a try, uh, especially right now we're in exam review. So this is a perfect way to review what's going on in your course. Thanks.